Hello YouTube, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to post a very short video and try to answer the question about Episode 7 and does it ignore the prequel trilogy? Of course, that is Episodes 1, 2, and 3. I've seen on the internet quite a bit of speculation that Episode 7 would continue on after the original Star Wars movies, but ignore 1, 2, and 3. And I need to put a spoiler alert here. Um, I am going to talk about some of the things that happened in Episode 7, so if you haven't seen it, you might want to turn the video off now. These aren't going to be major reveals, but still, if you haven't seen it, you might want to watch this after seeing Episode 7. So I'm going over five data points, and for my first data point, there is a mention of the Jedi Temple, so they do refer to Luke looking for the Jedi Temple, and that is something that is... Um, shown in the prequel trilogy, so it's possible that in a future episode we might see the Jedi Temple as it was seen in the prequel trilogy, and that's what you're seeing on this slide here is, is Mace and Obi-Wan walking through the Jedi Temple with Yoda behind them there. For my second data point, um, there is a language similarity to the prequel episodes. In, in one scene of episode 7, a language is spoken that sounds very much like the language that Watto speaks in episodes 1 and 2. So this is a pretty weak data point, but I thought I would mention it. It, it does seem to line up. Now, there is a very similar sound that a creature makes on the freighter that Han is flying and it sounds very much like the sound that this creature makes in episode 2 and, and uh, so when you watch the movie listen for that next time you watch the movie and see if you think that those do sound similar and if that is a throwback to episode 2 now this is my first very solid data point they do mention bringing balance to the force and this is something that's mentioned many times in the prequel trilogy but never referenced in the original trilogy. So that is uh, my first solid data point that shows that they did uh, respect the original trilogy. And for my final data point, and the most solid one, they mentioned the Sith by name as the first evil that they battled. And this is something that's only mentioned in the prequel trilogy. The word Sith is not used in the original Star Wars movies, so for that reason, I feel that they are not ignoring episodes 1, 2, and 3, and instead continuing the story of the six movies. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'd be interested to hear what others think. Thank you.